Hello everyone, so I'm a little sad this week, nobody turned in any submissions for the show and tell, so I have no material for this week's show and tell, so I can't really share much with you guys on your guys' stuff, which I was really hoping to keep this going because I thought it was a fun idea and I love seeing people's different types and styles because aquatics is a lot like a art and it's a way to express yourself so there's so many ways to do it I mean they don't have to be the best looking tanks they could be a project tank a breeding tank and uh, here's my cat Sparky he wants to join in in the video too he doesn't want to feel left out but yeah, I, I, I really hope that we can keep this going and would love to see some more tanks. I know we had some really awesome tanks this last week and I mean they don't all have to be showcase tanks. So um, in spirit of that, I'm going to, I guess I have no choice but to show and tell one of my tanks. So what I'm going to share with you guys is one of my most unique and it's pretty neat tank and uh, let me show you what that is I was planning on saving this project for another day and for a special feature but since we didn't have a show and tell, here it is. So this is my Scud's compost tank. And uh, I recently started throwing like my green scraps and carrots. I really love carrots. Tried some onions in there, some fruit peels. They didn't really care for the onions or the peels or anything. You can see they're all over these onion scraps. Not really touching the onion much. I've seen them eat corn on the cob. We see them all over the wall here. But uh, yeah, I ended up turning this. They were eating a bunch of my good food, which is expensive. So I figured instead of feeding them all that, I would just start trying to feed them like my leafy scraps and whatnot like I just told you guys and uh, yeah so far it's working out good it's been a pretty pretty interesting experience an experiment because uh, I wasn't sure how the water would react with all these organics in there and just the water change and stuff Looks like starting to grow some green water, which is really cool. I mean, you can see plants are still growing well in there. There's actually some fish in there. A couple baby fish, rainbow fish in there. I think they're Dekais, Goldiers. And uh, they seem to be doing good too, so they didn't mind it at all. They definitely got plenty to eat in there. But this is what I feed my rainbow fish in my big community tank just to always keep them conditioned and in the mood I'm trying to grow them out fast too but yeah I wasn't planning on having these scuds it just happened one day getting them from an import order and um, instead of just scrapping the whole tank I decided to make lemonade out of lemons and this is how it's progressing. Kind of crazy. Not a tank I thought I'd be keeping. And it's pretty wild because I've seen the celery try to grow in here too. But they've been eating it pretty good. What they'll do is they'll eat all the dying material. And leave all the live stuff. You see the carrot actually right there. Starting to sprout some leaves. see the scuds a lot better too rainbow fish go crazy for them absolutely crazy it's 
kind of neat to see the skeleton of some of these plants too, like the corn cob skeleton was pretty neat. Here you can kind of see it. carrot skeleton a little bit. I'm trying to get my phone in the water here. It's not waterproof. That's kind of wild looking. We got Monte Carlo floating on top. There was like a fungus or mold growing on the peels, but it didn't seem to affect the water any. It didn't seem to affect anybody, so I left it. But yeah, that's my compost tank. So in my compost tank, I thought I had some shrimp in here, but, and I do, with my scud, so glad to see they're doing good in here too. And here's a close up of the scuds for you guys. They are a type of copiopod. Hope you guys enjoyed. And as always, thanks for watching. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. That would be awesome of you guys. Because we'll have episodes coming up every day.